Okay, hey guys, this is T-Man here, and I'm gonna help you get the Amazing Spider-Man for the PC to stop, well, get rid of a little bit of lag. Okay, let's get started. Now, you see this taskbar down here? This is not a little computer. This is a Windows 7 laptop. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Alright, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your Amazing Spider-Man. I don't have a supercomputer, I'm gonna show you a laptop change all your settings on here to a low or something like that. Go to start with your control panel. Now, see this Intel right here? This is how my graphics drivers are installed and updated. If you have NVIDIA, it might be the same thing. Okay, it might be just like this, but just click on it. Now you gotta go to start, by the way, in your control panel. Go here, click OK, and right here is all your graphics settings. You're going to want to click 16-bit, and then whatever here, yeah, this is your frame rate, I believe, uh, how many frames you're going to get. Now, right here, I have it on performance. You can have it here or here. These are one of your good settings right here. If you put it on quality, it's going to go even more slower than what it was. Go click OK. Click OK again. I'll close this out. Everything is down there. Go to your computer. Click here. And click Program Files. Now, if you scroll down and look for the Amazing Spider-Man, which it should be right around here. Yeah, right here. Now click the game. Now click properties. Go to compatibility and see all this right here. Um, for the standard, they want you to run it in Windows XP Service Pack 3. I have Windows Vista Service Pack 2. I do that because it's a newer updated kind of thing. Now you're going to want to run this and write this. Don't do that since it's already in the launch options. If you disable the visual themes, it's a uh, works okay, not a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of the desktop composition. That doesn't really do anything. You disable the visual themes, but this is just gonna make it look a little bit crappier. But you want that to run the game. Um, run as administrator. That doesn't really do anything. It just launches the game like anything should. But don't do that since you can already play it. Click apply and then click OK. Now. Another thing is to make the performance in the computer better. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone should know how to do this because Minecraft does that too. Alright, what you want to do is you're going to want to click on computer and click the properties. Now, you're also going to want to go to advanced system settings. Click advanced and settings. And then you're going to want to click adjust for best performance right here. Don't click any of these or else it's just going to so the computer down in all of its uh, all the programs. Click apply. <sighs> Click OK. Close it out. Close that out. Now you should be able to run it without lag. If you have a supercomputer, I can also do a tutorial for that. And I have a crack version of Spider-Man, so I can also show you how to get that as well. Let's launch the game and see how it is. Now using um Oh, cam, hypercam. The game might be like at the top left corner, but just pay attention to that. Okay. I'm going to start up the game. I'm going to show you how it is now. Before, um, it was really laggy. It was not good at all. I can tell you that it was not very good. It lagged a lot. But trust me, when you edit those, you're going to get a lot of less lag. Let's go ahead and look at these for a moment while this loads. Hmm. Hey, anyone felt that quake? All these comments are kind of cool. Kind of makes you feel like you're on the internet. Even though you probably are. Like literally on the computer or something like that. <clears throat> now since it's kind of lagging on the loading, it should almost be ready for me to start the game. Yep. Okay, let's begin. Right here on the city overview, it lagged a lot. Now it doesn't lag as bad as it did before. How it's all black on this building, that should change. And if it doesn't, then we got a problem. It's not a problem, it just makes it look a little bit crappier. Just like pause it or something and go back, and it should get rid of it. I did that once and it worked. 
you know, when it gets close up on Spider-Man, it stops lagging. And then when he jumps off, it starts to lag, but not much. Let's go on down here. And I can't really notice a difference in lag, but once it starts swinging, that's when you can tell. And right here. And here we go. It's not as laggy as it was before for me. So yeah. This is how you fix lag in the Amazing Spider-Man. Also, um, if you have lag, some of the controls, they're kind of delayed, but don't worry about that. It might become a problem later on, but for now, just let's go with the flow for now. This is not lag, by the way. This is just that really big robot attacking the city. Let's swing around a bit more for you guys to see. Once you get further into the city, with all the buildings, that's when it starts to lag a lot less. So in certain parts of the city, it'll stop lagging. In the black, it's just because it's loading with all your settings on low. It's still loading the game. But as you can see, the lag is going down a lot less. Well, it's going down a lot. Not a lot less. Ah, uh, yeah. Also, if you guys never played this, I can do a review of it. But since this is a cracked Spider-Man, I can show you how to get the game for free. Uh, it's not from Steam. It's a Steam game, but you can get it for free. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Now I'm getting too sucked into the game. It's been a while since I played it a little bit better than what I've usually been playing it. We Also, another tip. Do not play this game. Since I'm using a PC, do not run it with a controller. If you have an Xbox controller, if you have a regular PC gaming controller, don't use it on this game, or on any game really, because it will make it lag. It really does. So I'm using the mouse and keyboard right now, and it's running okay for me. So whatever you do, guys, do not use that controller, or it's not going to run good at all. I guess I'm going to conclude this video right now, and I will see you guys next time. If it worked, I stopped the video. I don't know if it didn't. I don't know what that was about, but how uh, you can. But yep guys, and that's how you, well, prevent lag. So remember, leave comments if you want me to show you how to get the game, and a little bit more on how to stop lag. And it should work if you have a supercomputer. If you have a plain laptop, it's not going to work very good. But I will see you guys next time on the Amazing Spider-Man.